on this week's episode of Mates of Craft. Thousand baby on the new pull-up bar that we installed in the previous episode along with some other workshop upgrades but this is episode number four I'm Jacob Spicer welcome back to Mates of Craft and today I know we said we was either going to be in the office or the lounge but we're not we're in the kitchen now long story short the first thing that we did when we moved in last year was rip out the kitchen and put it back in it come out sweet, I'll throw some clips in the final montage for you. But we added a bar and then a stood down disco light raft for when we're entertaining. Now I didn't actually film the building of the lighting rig. I've got a few photos that I'll chuck on screen now. But essentially it's a stood down raft off the ceiling, four DMX moving heads, some halo illumination, and then some bulb holders that we put strobes or UV bulbs in. All of this works off of a five channel remote. And currently we're occupying three of those channels with the moving heads, the halo illumination and the bulb holders, which leaves us two spare channels, which brings us to today's build. We're gonna use those two spare channels to create a disco light and some more halo illumination above the sink area. Let me show you what I've got in mind. So unlike the disco lights that we have on the ceiling at the moment, I don't wanna see this one when we're not using it or it will just become a full-time nightclub. So what we're gonna do is install it above the sink in a housing with a drop-down front face. The disco light we'll be installing on this project is the Equinox Dominator 2, which is an eight mirrored scanning bar. I'll do a short review, you know, my thoughts and opinions at the end of the video once we've got it strapped to the wall and we've tested it a little bit. Anyway, we're gonna get this thing unboxed, get some dimensions and start to create our housing. We'll be making the housing out of this piece of, I think it's cedar, but I'll be completely honest with you, when I'm picking up wood to make these, especially the indoor builds, it really doesn't matter what you use. Um, I usually just go with how good looking it is, which, I mean, it is, but also we're just gonna cover it in paint as well. So that's not particularly important, but you will see some of these patterns in the wood uh, bleed through the paint, much like you do with this chipboard arrangement, the texture of what you're applying the paint to. Yeah, it matters. But without further ado, let's get this thing marked up, diced up, and then we're gonna start to assemble the housing for this bad bitch. I'm telling you, by the end of this video, my kitchen will look like a nightclub, baby. Let's do it.
Okay, so there we have it. We're all screwed together. We've got our face cut that will sit like that when you don't want to use it and you you know you need it in incognito mode and then there'll be a small latch on the side you undo the face will flop down and we'll have party time or you know please keep your genitalia in your garments or something like that something party related we're going to use these stainless steel little hinges attach them to this front edge and let gravity do its thing but before all that we need to get it painted now the inside where the disco light is mounted, I'm just going to black it out so it doesn't catch any excess light. Don't want to highlight any of those features. And then this edge along with the outside will all be done in white to match the rest of the kitchen. And then the face, we've got a little piece of art that will go straight in the middle of it. You know, some words, always believe something wonderful is about to happen. And stood next to this thing, I find that believable anyway. That's gonna go in the middle. I'll probably white out the rest of it and then maybe just a little splatting or something that will act as kind of a halo on the little sign that we're putting on the front. But first on our agenda is to remove the disco light. We'll get the relevant areas masked up and get our first coat of black on the inside edges. This one's shaping up real nice i'll tell you that i am looking forward to this being on the wall tunes on disco lights on do you know what i mean oh you enjoy this one <laughs> that will do us for paint we're all ready for assembly this side came out really nice in the end kind of looks like a sky behind it i mean was it intentional no but i'm happy with it this side came out sweet once that's folded down you've got the box and the disco light and that folds down like a little banner party like gatsby baby i think that could be the episode name to be honest with you i was gonna have it as kitchen nightclub but party like Gatsby I think that's better now what we've got to do is take our hinges that we've sprayed up as well 
get them fixed to this, fix that together, and then install our LEDs on this bar that will screw to the wall first when it comes to assembly and shoot down and hopefully bleed out of the little gap we've left at the back here. So it should illuminate the blinds quite nicely. But first we need some hinges. Then we need a latch to secure the door. And now we're ready for installation. Installation is pretty simple. We're gonna screw this piece of batten to the wall that's cut to the width for the inside of the housing. It's got some LEDs pre-mounted on the bottom that we'll test before we put the housing on. But once that is secured, we'll slide the housing over the top of the batten, fix into the ceiling. There's a wooden batten towards the corner that will hit with the back screws and then at the front we'll use some plasterboard fixings and then it's a question of just sliding the disco light into place plugging it in and then you're ready to tango now before we tuck in to the final montage i just want to run through my thoughts and opinions on the disco light that we used the equinox dominator 2 cost 165 pounds off of amazon which is a big, I really don't think you can get much more bang for the buck in terms of a disco light for that sort of money. That is fair play, that is spot on. The colours are awesome on it. The brightness, uh, literally, as it shoots down the length of the kitchen and out the back door as it reaches the back fence, it's awesome. There are no gobos on it, so the beams of light that come out of each mirror are very sharp, and especially if you've got a fog, catch it quite nicely when it washes the room but as you'll notice with the dmx moving heads they have gobos so it projects a pattern on the wall basically which cuts through the smoke a lot sharper it just looks a lot cooler when those beams are like washed around the room as opposed to what you get you get more of a general flood but again bang for the buck i really don't think you can knock it now the way that i have this thing set up is sound to light so it just performs to the beat of the music which is good some of the patterns can get a bit flashy i wish it would do the more rolly washy patterns a little bit more but again for the money you can't knock it and as a centerpiece the way it rolls through all the patterns you get a good array of effects going on around you but look i will score this disco light and overall seven out of ten which i think honestly bang for the buck i don't think there literally isn't anything better on the market so if you're looking to buy one disco light for just over 150 quid that will seriously you know packs a punch you know what i mean then this is your kitty now ladies and gentlemen before i show you the final montage if you're enjoying what we're doing here at mates of craft give this video a like subscribe to the channel even ring the notification bell you know what I mean? And the best way to support the channel right now and help us grow is to share this video. You know, you can put it on Instagram, you can put it on Facebook. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Thank you for watching, guys. This montage is going to see us out. So I will see you on episode number five, where, again, don't know what we're going to be doing yet. So, you know, stay tuned, I guess. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.